Hello again, YouTube. Going back to Helper Hero again, and here we're gonna start Mirror. Now, okay, Mirror only has three attacks. Four if you count the shield, the reflective shield. The most powerful attack that you have on the Mirror's arsenal is this right here, the Mirror Cut. And I really don't know what I was trying to do there. I think I was trying to break that apple with a jump. But that did, clearly didn't work. Now, if you want to play it safe, it's best to use a dash attack. If you want to play it risky and go for the sheer damage, you want to go for the mirror cut. The mirror cut is a spammable attack, a somewhat spammable attack, has a very short range though. But it gives you a lot of damage output. The dash attack is safer and gives you a little bit more mobility. Against Crackle, I think it would be a safer choice. I think. Except, well, if you do something like that, yeah. In most cases, it would be a safer choice because position yourself on the fly, unless you're, unless you're very experienced with the ability, clearly I'm not, then you're going to find yourself getting hit a lot more than you should. Here is King DDD. And foregoing the idea of just rushing in with a mirror cut, I just finish him with a dash attack. Why not? A dash attack is so much more safer of an attack to use in spamming. Here is Dyna Blade. And trying to position myself, I go for the, the mirror cut spam. Now, after about a barrage of attacks right there, Dino Blade's almost down. Two more, finish it off Dino Blade. So onward to Fatty Whale. Let's go rush forward with our dash and Fatty Whale. Yeah, Fatty Whale. Now, here. The concern about uh, mirror cuts, very very short range comes into play here, because I took that unnecessary hit right there. I am a little fortunate that he's going for the jump attacks here, but see I got hits, I took so much combined damage from the poor positioning that I'm already low on life. You could play it safe, yes I realize, by going with a dash attack or that attack, but that, uh, the holding, holding your attack button down leaves you open for much longer than I would like. If you want to go for a reasonable, somewhat fast time with Mirror, you have to take advantage of the Mirror Cut. But the Mirror Cut puts you in such close range that positioning yourself properly is somewhat of a bad choice. I thought he would go for the attack here, but I didn't realize he could have, uh, he was going invisible. If I realized he was going invisible, I could have gotten a few more hits on him. Anyway, Camellio Arm is finished, and we're on to the next boss, or next bosses rather. There's a Poppy Butter Senior, and he runs into me, but I finish him off. Yeah, this is terrible. I really don't know what that was, but getting hit like that wasted a lot of time. And getting hit like that again, I already used a tomato, and... I'm already low on life again. That's terrible. So, realizing this, and because that my position is absolutely horrid, I just figure I'll, I'll hit them with a the dash attack a lot. Except I got thrown. Oh, that's cool, right? I mean, I'm already playing the face of danger, so why not? Let's just get out of there and avoid that. And finish him off. That was terrible. So that's the second tomato already used. Start off Twin Woods. Now instead of starting off the right tree, I start off the left. I don't think it really matters. But it's worth it's worth noting that I did start off the right tree. The left tree. The left tree. The interesting thing to note about um, Mirror Shield, by the way, if you don't know already, is that you don't take chip damage while you're blocking. And yeah, 
I expected him to go run forward, not walk backward. So I took that stupid hit right there. Jump over Heavy Lobster, expecting a flamethrower, always expect the worst, and I that, that was a bad dash attack. I shouldn't have done that. And then he jumps onto me again. This heavy Lobster does not like me. And I can't control myself very well with the mirror either. The positioning... I, f I find that the positioning for going for the mirror cut is very strict, or it's just really, really short range. Much more short range than sword, which I thought previously was pretty short range to begin with, but apparently not. Now, the mirror cut does 22 damage per slash, so it's obviously the safest, the best choice to pick when you're playing against the computer virus, because you want to go for the most amount of damage as possible to make it more reasonably safe for you. I believe the other attacks do like, I think it was, um, 6 for the, for the attack held button and 16 for the dash. I don't know for sure, it probably might update this later if I find it out. But it's worth noting that the mirror cut, like, once again, is the most powerful attack in the mirror's ability arsenal. And this is just showing that I am invincible, pretty much invincible to this boss. When, when he's doing an attack, because all the attacks that the computer virus does just reflect off of the shield. They either reflected or they destroyed upon impact. And I take no damage at all. So stuff like the, like the Great Dragon flaps his wings attack does absolutely no damage to me. Why? In fact, it's happening right here. The blades that are supposed to affect me are reflected harmlessly. I, t I have taken no damage from that. Well, yeah, there's really not much else to say about the computer virus. The computer virus! It's an RPG boss, and it likes to stall, which actually didn't happen too much this run. I'm surprised. So, Meta Knight, I'm really not expecting a good run from here. That's okay, it's Meta Knight. So, I can't reach it with a, with a hold attack. I can't reach him safely with a, with a mirror cut. So, at this point, I just forego it, all of it. And I'll go for a mirror cut when necessary, but I, I, my main attack is a dash attack. Which, apparently, Meta Knight's setting himself up perfectly for with all those repeated whatever. In fact, that was really easy. Not really easy. But that was a lot easier than I was expecting. So I take the max tomato, expecting the worst with worst with Wham Bam Rock. Yeah. Well, I could get a little pattern down here. I could slash him here, and then I I should be able to dash attack while retreating in order to get two hits. Of course, I only got that off once, but oh, whatever, right? Whatever. In fact, I wasn't even paying that much attention, so I got hit twice unnecessarily. That was terrible. That's okay, that's okay. One more hit, we'll finish off Wham Bam Rock. Finish. Now, of course, that's not all. We're on to Wham Bam Jewel! What is. With his hand waggling around when he raises it, it's a little different on position yourself. You want to go for a second hit. Well, go for a second hit safely. You don't want to go too far so you don't hurt him, but you also don't want to get too close so you so you uh, get hurt yourself. I'm just surprised I nailed that fist with the mirror cut. In fact, here's, here's the case of going too far, and then there's the case of going too close. Except that wasn't with the fist that the ground pound attack. So, I finish off Wham Bam Jewel, and that, yeah, that's it for Mirror. We'll see you next time for next video, see you guys next time.